Hi guys! For today's Motivational Monday video, I wanted to talk about a topic that I think is not spoken about enough and I know in having it myself and in dealing with it, I have met tons of other women and men also who have the same problem. So today I want to talk about anxiety, anxiety attacks, anxiety period, whatever. And again, this is just kind of another one of those rambly advice videos, so I don't know where I'm going to go with it, so just stick with me. So I am a person who suffers from anxiety attacks. To give you a little bit of a backstory of where I come from with them, um, I never suffered from them in the past when I was younger. Um, and then I moved 3,000 miles away from family, away from anything I knew, away from a job, away from stability, away from school, friends, everything, to move with my husband across country when he joined the Marine Corps. And I am blessed to have been through that. I am happy for it. I'm still away from all those people and all those things but in the beginning it was really really tough now when I was in high school I didn't have anxiety but I had really bad like stressors like I was a really stressed out person I was that girl that if I didn't get an A on the test I mean I wasn't that bad I wasn't you know a straight-A student or anything but I was that girl that you know from one paper to the next I was stressing out so bad and I never really understood high school because I feel like they give you this huge paper and you're stressing out, stressing about it and stressing about it and then they're like, okay, now you can relax and then the next week they give you another one. So it like never ends and I was really stressed out but I never suffered from anxiety. And then I'd say my senior year, I believe I had my first panic attack, my first anxiety attack. Panic and anxiety, it's a bit different. I would say... The thing I had senior year was more of a panic attack. Um, I lost a huge spider in my room, and by lost, I mean I tried to kill it, and it fell down behind my dresser, and I am horrified of spiders, petrified. They're my biggest fear. So this big spider dropped to the unknown, and I freaked out. I could not stop crying. I couldn't breathe. It was horrible. So that definitely was a panic attack, but that was the first of the kind of, you know, that kind of, series of things. So then I moved with my husband and we moved to the middle of the desert. And I'm talking the desert. There is nothing there. Have you, If you've ever seen that movie, The Hills Have Eyes, I lived where that movie was recorded. It is nothing. It is horrible. It's the worst place to raise a family because there's nothing to do, nowhere to go. And I think just from being in my house all the time by myself because my husband would deploy and go on trainings and there was nowhere to go, like I said, so I was always there, I started to get really bad anxiety. And I had anxiety of everything. I would be, I would have anxiety of what's to come. Like I would start getting anxious about bedtime and start having anxiety attacks. I would get anxious about going to new places. I would get anxious about calling on the phone. I would get anxious about... I mean, goodness, everything. I would get anxious for no reason whatsoever. And at the time, I didn't know that's what I was dealing with. And that's why I think it's kind of not spoken about enough. Because I thought that I was just, I don't know, I just, I thought I was a stressed person still. And now, looking back on it, I know that I was having anxiety attacks. And, you know, it would be so hard because I had really bad anxiety to the point where I wouldn't even call pizza Hut and order a pizza and even today I still have a little bit of trouble with things on the phone like if I'm calling important places like doctor's offices or um, you know insurance companies or whatever that stuff gives me anxiety but before it was just calling the pizza man and that is just crazy and so anytime I had a question rather than call I would post it on Facebook and people would tell me why don't you just call this number and it was the most aggravating, frustrating, upsetting thing because anybody who doesn't deal with it cannot, they can't understand it. If I told them I can't call, it gives me an anxiety attack, they would look at me like I was straight nuts in the head. So I'm being, I'm being really vulnerable sharing this with you guys because not a lot of people know about this. So yeah, I suffered from anxiety attacks. And it's, it, it made me socially awkward, I think, to a point. My daughter woke up and is distracting me. Um, but yeah, so I want to tell you guys now, I'm about a year out 
from having any anxiety attacks. I am much different. I'm able to call people. I'm able to go into buildings that I've never been in and feel fine and feel not phased by it. And it's, I want to tell you how I did that. And what happened was I found a passion. When I joined Beachbody, I found that I was really, really passionate about helping other people and sharing my knowledge. And I was really passionate about health and fitness. And I knew that in order to move forward in that business, in order to make the money I wanted to make, in order to reach out to the large numbers of people I wanted to reach out to, I had to tackle those anxieties. Some people call it fear. It's not fear. It is the most grippling feeling in your chest. It just shuts your chest down. You can't breathe. You feel like somebody is laying on your chest. And I knew that I had to tackle that. And so what I started doing was doing things that made me way out of my comfort zone. I started contacting people that I'd never talked to or that I haven't talked to in a long time. I ran my first fit club, which I was petrified of it forever. I was so anxious about it. And I did it and I felt better. And then the next time I felt a little better and the next time I felt a little better until it became more fun to go there than it became anxiety ridden. Um, Basically, I just started doing things that horrified me. And now, a year out, I can really honestly say that overcoming my anxieties, not overcoming fears, overcoming my anxieties has helped me to get out of that and to not feel that anymore. And it feels good. So I just want to say, if you are a person who suffers from anxiety and people make you feel bad for it, Talk to somebody who you think can relate. Talk to somebody that's not going to judge you. Talk to me. Send me a message anywhere. I'll put everything down below. You can send me something anywhere. Anxiety is something that it's hard. And I feel like this video is just kind of to talk, not really to um, help you out too much. It's just to kind of talk and tell you that I understand. And I go through those same things. And I, I overcame it. I still deal with a little bit of it. But... I have gone from 0 to 60 in terms of 0 being my lowest and 60 being the best. So I can definitely say, you know, I did it and I understand what everybody else is going through that's dealing with it. And I hope that you find this video to be a little bit of a relief. It takes a little bit of anxiety off of your chest. And yeah, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.